This is the Good Neighbor Podcast, the place where local businesses and neighbors come together. Here's your host, Jim Schaller. Welcome, good neighbors, to episode number 31 of the Good Neighbor Podcast, Estero. Today we have good neighbor Ryan Vesey from Matterhorn Fit with us. Ryan, welcome. Thank you, Cabo, for having me on. Hey, pleasure, pleasure. Always good to meet people out in the community, and we're just trying to help spread the word. So yeah. why don't we start by um, you know sharing a little bit about what you do over at Matterhorn Fit? Yeah, sure. Um, so I, I was a former professional hockey player, uh, played 14 years professionally across uh, the NHL, the KHL, and all the top leagues in Europe, and had a bunch of injuries. And so uh, my strength coach at the time was Sean Sullivan, now my co-founder in Matterhorn Fit. We put together a very unique neurological process for healing my injuries and transitioning that straight into performance training um, in 2013. And when we did that, I ended up playing for five more years pain-free, and we uh, wow. started Matterhorn Fit in 2018. And uh, yeah, we've developed this Matterhorn method, which is um, a neurologically based approach to pain, movement, and uh, performance. So that is that is that is great. That's a great story. So who'd you play for? Uh, in the NHL was with San Jose Sharks. Okay, uh, okay. I was in Russia for six seasons, and then uh, yeah, I was in Sweden, Switzerland, Finland. So wow, where are you from originally? Then uh, New York, Long Island, New York. Ah, okay. All right. What brought you down to Southwest Florida? So I, uh, so after the, my two years in San Jose, I uh, signed a contract in Russia and okay. wanted to get out of the New York State income tax. So we All right. decided to uh, what we thought at the time was buy our vacation house first and move down to Florida. And then when I was done with my career, moved back up to New York. But as uh, many of us know, once you get down here, there's no going back. So All right, uh, right. We've set up shop here and. Uh, you know, we have three kids now in the area and I uh, go to school in Estero and, um, nice. yeah. Great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area. We love it down here. So, so I guess you're not a lightning or Panther fan then, huh? No, I, 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 I'm a little bit of both because they're the local teams and I like to get my uh, eight-year-old son, uh, up to some games. He loves hockey. So, uh, we've been going to both of them and I have, uh, friends in the organization of both teams. So. Um, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna nice. stay politically correct and say those those are my two favorite. Right, and, and who and who would think that we'd have two great hockey teams here oh, in wow. Florida of all places? Unbelievable. And you have the Everglades right here in, in Astero. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, two time champion. Yeah, two time champion. So a lot of friends on yeah. in that organization as well. So yeah, great, great. So it sounds like you've acclimated down here pretty well and been been part of the community, become part of the community. Yeah, yeah. We we have through the business and through the kids. You know, you really, uh, it's a great community. Estero is a great place uh, to raise a family and uh, a lot of great people. And we really enjoy it here. That's great. That's great. So I, I guess I was going to ask you how you got into this business, but you kind of explained it there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I guess I guess one thing I, I would ask is that, uh, you know, we've gone all, all gone through some type of, of challenge or, um, you know, some something we've had to rise above. That's yeah. kind of put us in the position where we are today. Is there something that maybe defined you and put you, you know, on the, on the way to where you are today? Yeah. You know, I was, you know, as an athlete, I was, I'm undersized. I was five foot eight, you know, 165 pounds is really what I played at. And, you know, I was overlooked my whole career and faced a ton of injuries uh, just because I played a physical style of hockey because it was ingrained in me when I was a young kid that you had to be physical if you're to be small to, you know, prove to everyone that, you know, <laughs> you could play with the big boys. So, but, you know, I, I made the NHL at 28. So, you know, I was uh, in the minors. I, you know, led my team in scoring, but never had the opportunity, but I always had to keep, you know, working to try to um, get to the highest level. And, you know, that, work ethic and that belief in myself, I think has really, uh, transitioned well into business and made me, um, you know, the positive person I am, you know? And so I think it's, uh, when you have a vision and you believe in yourself and you work hard and you have some sort of talent, I think that, uh, you could achieve things that maybe a lot of people don't think are possible. So that's kind of my obstacles have taught me. And, uh, I try to carry that into our business and into our culture as well. 
Absolutely. And be passionate about what you're, what you're doing. As long as there's a passion and an interest, it's in a drive, you're, you're going to do well. Um, I, I guess I would, I would kind of back up a little bit and say, are there, are you primarily just focusing on athletes or is it just, is this some a fit that anybody could do? Yeah. So I think, you know, we have a wide variety of clients. So our clients include, we have over 70 professional athletes. We have 11 Olympians. Uh, we have, you know, many up and coming aspiring athletes, but truly the majority of our population are between 60 and 80 years old, Southwest Florida residents who yeah. have had pain. Uh, our methodology has been proven to fix pain in two weeks. And then we transition them to personal training. So a lot of people who have struggled with chronic pain or uh, are unable to play pickleball and tennis and golf like they want to, uh, we've been fortunate enough to be able to help them uh, get back on track and uh, be the place for them to go. So, yeah, we have a lot of a lot of older clients as well. And, um, you know, it's it's just as rewarding and fun working with them as it is with pro athletes, because a lot of these people have tremendously uh, interesting stories and are tremendously focused on getting better the same way a pro athlete would be. Um, and so it's, uh, it's really cool to kind of get to know them and have them part of our uh, Matterhorn community. And, and that's, and that's, yeah, it's, it's that mindset, you know, it's, it's, I grew up playing sports. I, I played basketball and it, it's just one of those things that's always kind of ingrained for you. It's it's the competition. It's carrying that over into your professional life uh, as far as teamwork is concerned and things like that. But but it's always important as you get older, like you mentioned, to to stay you know fit, to be able to you know to be able to do the things you want to do and not just sit around and you know and get old like uh, yeah. like many people do. Yeah. So absolutely. are there? Are, are there any myths or misconceptions within the industry that, you know, we'd like to bust for some of the people out there? You know, I think, uh, you know, one of the misconceptions for um, strength training as well as rehab is, you know, the, mind, the, the techniques or mindset are very different for different people. And yes, that is true from building a program, but from a principal standpoint, we all want to be have our muscles at length, at length and have flexibility. We all want to have strength. We all want to be able to go up, you know, get up and down and, um, you know, have more power than we did, you know, yesterday. So, you know, a lot of the same um, ideas are applicable for all different age categories. And what we do really well is we find a way to do that and make it uh, make those improvements in a very safe and, and functional way so that they can and like you said, do the things they want to do. So um, I think that's one of the biggest uh, misconceptions is when you get older, you have to do, um, you know, just like a pool workout, you know, or pool aerobics yep. or something like that. When, you know, we see time and time again, um, you know, when you stop moving, you start dying. That's kind of a, a phrase. Yep. And, um, you know, it's really important that we uh, continue, you know, fighting the good fight, you know, as we age. And and it's amazing because you see it all over the the internet nowadays. It's not just people in their seventies, but their eighties and even their nineties that are, are are working out on a daily basis and are more physically fit than probably when they, when they were a lot younger. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of clients who were you know in their sixties and seventies, and you know probably more fit than when they were in their thirties. So. That's great. That's great. So outside of outside of work, you know, I know work takes a lot of time away, but. Yeah. What, kind of things do you enjoy doing? Uh, with my kid, my three kids play sports. So we're, uh, you know, we often find the Vessies at a, you know, travel <laughs> soccer game or the, the recreational soccer field. My middle daughter uh, figure skates competitively. So, she, she, you know, she's at the rink and my son is playing hockey. So me and my wife are, uh, you know, they're keeping us busy and we're, you know, we're usually split on the weekend, one with uh, one kid, the other with the other two. And, so that takes up a lot of our time, but, you know, I like to play pickleball when I can. I like to, to golf when I can and, um, you know, stay active as much as possible. Definitely work out yeah. every day. And it's a lot easier down here in Southwest Florida because we can be outside here around and on top of it. Yep. But great. Is there other, is there anything else you'd like our listeners to know about Matterhorn Fit and, 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 you know, kind of share with them? Yeah, I think, I mean, I like to share that. You know, our process is so uh, different from a pain relief side than traditional forms. Um, 
we look specifically at how the brain and muscles communicate from a neurological level and how those parts of the body can absorb the force of movement. And so I think it's really important to, to come in for an initial evaluation to see if you have any parts of the body not communicating with your brain as they should. And if you do, you should fix them immediately because that is what is going to ultimately uh, turn into a tear, uh, a, a surgery or something that uh, could put you out for a long time. So um, we, we use our process to both heal people, but a lot of people come in as a diagnostic uh, tool to kind of check where they're at and keep them on track. And, and much like everything, everybody's just a little bit different. So they really need to come in and get analyzed personally because, you know, what may on the outside seem like something common could be something a lot deeper. Absolutely. Very good. So how would our listeners get a hold of you? Yeah. So if you go to matterhornfit.com, uh, you can you can read more about our process. Um, right there, we have all the information. Uh, our phone number, if you were calling, is 239-676-5342. And uh, our staff is happy to help uh, everyone uh, achieve their goals. Ryan, it's been a been a pleasure getting to know you, and uh, you know uh, I love what you're doing with the community and helping people stay fit. And I uh, hope to see you out there soon. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it. Take care. Thanks for having me on. All right. Thank you for listening to the Good Neighbor Podcast, Estero. To nominate your favorite local businesses to be featured on the show, go to gnpestero.com. That's gnpastero.com or call 239-296-2621.